first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number two on the topic percentage we are going to solve some of the basic level question this is based on the concept called percentage right so question number one <coughs> if 50 percentage of p is equal to 25 percentage of q then p equal to x percentage of q find x so what they are saying is initially they are giving an expression the expression is 50 percentage of p is equal to 25 percentage of q then our target to find by using a second expression our target to find what is the value of x so by using this expression our target to find what is the value of x so listen carefully in this expression if our target to find what is the value of x then we need to eliminate q and also p only then we can find what is the value of x so in order to eliminate p listen carefully what i'm going to do is in order to eliminate this p i'm going to convert the q term in terms of p so that you can cancel the left hand side p and also right hand side p got it or otherwise you can cancel q by converting this p in terms of q either you can convert p in terms of q and eliminate both the q or otherwise convert q in terms of p so that we can eliminate both the letter p to find the value of x either we can proceed any one method right so now by using the first expression i am going to find what is the value of p so after finding the value of p i am going to substitute here so that we can cancel q and q and we can find what is the value of x right by using a first expression listen carefully 50 percentage of p is equal to 25 percentage of q now we can cancel this percentage and also we can cancel this percentage right next is we can cancel this on phi table 5 5 is at 25 cancel this on 5 table 10 times you can directly cancel this on 2 table right so 1 5 is at 5 again 2 5 is at 10 so finally left hand side we have 2 of p of which is multiplication so left hand side we have 2 p is equals to right hand side we have 1 q so finally p is equals to q divided by 2 so finally we found the value of p that is q by 2 now substitute the value of p q by 2 in this expression number 2 to find the value of x so i'm going to substitute here so p is equal to q by 2 so here we can write this as q by 2 as equals to x percentage can be written as x divided by 100 of multiplication again q so now you can cancel the left hand side q and right hand side q similarly you can cancel this 1 2 is 2 50 times so finally answer x is equal to 50 so by using the given data we find the value of p then we have substituted the value of p in equation number 2 so finally we got the value of x that is 50 so answer for question number 1 x is equal to 50 question number 2 if 20 percentage of p plus q is equals to 50 percentage of p minus q then find p is to q so by using this expression our target to find what is the ratio that is p is to q easiest equation first let me solve this and we can find what is p and q right so now 20 percentage of p plus q is equal to 50 percentage of p minus q so here right hand side we can cancel this percentage similarly left hand side we can cancel both the percentage now we can cancel 0 again we can cancel 0 so left hand side we have 2 into p plus q and right hand side we have 5 into p minus q so now you can multiply this 2 with both the terms right so 2 into p will be 2p plus 2 into q will be 2q as equals to similarly multiply this 5p minus of 5q now we can uh, bring this minus 5q towards left hand side it becomes 2q plus 5q as equals to 5p bring this 2p towards right hand side it becomes minus 2p so finally 5q 2q will be 7q so 7q is equal to 5p 2p will be 3p our target to find what is the ratio of p is to q so p divided by q is equals to 7 divided by 3 so friends got it so what we did here is we have bring this left hand side q towards right hand side similarly we have bring this uh, right hand side 3 to the left hand side that is denominator so finally we got p by q is equals to 7 by 3 or we can say that p is to q is equals to 7 is to 3 both are same right 
so finally we got an answer for question number two the ratio of p is to q is 7 is to 3 question number three if 90 percentage of a is equals to 30 percentage of b and b equal to 2x percentage of a then find the value of x and this question looks similar to question number one right in same logic so what we need to do is our target to find by using this expression number two our target to find what is the value of x if we need to find what is the value of x then we need to eliminate letter b and letter a so what what is our target first by using this expression number one we need to find what is the value of a after finding the value of a we need to substitute here so that we can cancel both the letter b and we can get the value of x so now by using this given expression number one we can find what is the value of a so we can cancel percentage percentage here similarly we can cancel zero and zero here so one threes are three three threes are nine so finally the left hand side part is three a and the right hand side part is only b right so finally a is equal to b by three so we got an answer that is a equal to b by 3 now we need to substitute the value of a b by 3 in this equation number 2 that is expression number 2 right so b is equals to 2x percentage can be written as 2 divided by 100 into a so a will be b by 3 so now you can cancel easily b and b similarly you can cancel 1 2s are 2 50 times so finally 1 is equals to x divided by 150 so x is equal to 150 so we got an answer for question number three that is value of x is equals to 150 question number four if 40 percentage of a plus b is equals to 60 percentage of a minus b then 2a minus 3b divided by a plus b is interesting question so by using this expression number one similar concept by using this expression number one we need to find what is the value of either a or otherwise b so what we are going to do is we are going to find the value of a by using this expression number one so after finding the value of a we are going to substitute the value of a in this expression number two to find the value of this complete expression right so first we can similarly cancel this left hand side percentage right hand side percentage again we can cancel this 0 and 0 so now left hand side we have 4 into a plus b right hand side we have 6 into a minus b now we can cancel this on two table so 3 twos are 6 2 twos are 4 so finally when you multiply this 2a plus 2b is equals to 3a minus 3b now uh, i think we can bring this minus 3b towards left hand side it becomes plus 3b so 2b plus 3b is equals to 3a so bring this 2a towards right hand side it becomes minus 2a so finally 3b 2b will be 5b is equals to a so friends finally we got an answer a is equals to 5b so now you need to substitute the value of a in this expression number 2 so here we have 2 of a will be 5b right so 5b minus of 3b divided by a plus b so we know that value of a will be 5b so 5b plus b friends got it so in this expression number 2 wherever the letter a we have substituted as 5b so now numerator 5 into 2 will be 10b so 10b minus 3b divided by 6b so this can be written as 10 plus 3 will be 7 so finally 7b divided by 6b we can cancel b and b so finally we got an answer for this given expression that is 7 by 6 interesting question so we got an answer for question number 4 that is 7 divided by 6 question number 5 if 20 percentage of a is equals to 80 percentage of b then b plus a divided by b minus a is equals to same logic so by using expression number one let me find what is the value of a right so they have given a word equal to which means it's both are same right so this can be written as 20 percentage of a is equals to 80 percentage of b so now you can similarly cancel percentage percentage similarly 120 are 20 so 24s are 80 so now i think left hand side we have only letter a is equals to 4b so finally we got an answer the value of a is equals to 4b now you need to substitute the value of a in this given expression number 2 so b plus a will be 4b 
divided by b minus a that is b minus 4b is equals to 5b divided by 3b so now you can cancel b and b which is 5 by 3 so finally we got an answer for question number 5 that is 5 divided by 3 question number 6 so if 20 percentage of a plus b is equals to 50 percentage of b then 2a minus b divided by 2a plus b is similarly by using expression number one we can find what is the value of a so here we can cancel percentage percentage we can cancel 0 and 0 so left hand side we a plus b so 2 into a plus b is equals to 5 into b so this can be written as 2a plus 2b is equals to 5b so 2a is equals to 5b minus 2b is equals to 3b right so 2a is equals to 3b so a equal to 3b by 2 so now by using this expression number one we got an answer that is a is equals to 3b by 2 so now we can substitute in this expression number 2 right so 2a so 2 into so instead of a 3b by 2 minus b divided by similarly 2 into 3b by 2 plus b so i think we can cancel 2 and 2 similarly we can cancel 2 and 2 so numerator 3b minus b will be 2b divided by 3b plus b will be 4b so you can cancel b and b so finally we got an answer that is 1 divided by 2 is the answer for the given expression question number 7 so if x is 20 percentage less than y then find the value of y minus x divided by y and x divided by x minus y so listen here what they are saying is x is 20 percentage less than y so by giving this data our target to find what is the value of y minus x by y and also x divided by x minus y so i think this question can be solved logically why because the value of x is 20 percentage less than y when compared to y the value of x is 20 percentage let me do one thing we can keep the value of y is 100 for example i am saying if you keep the value of y is 100 then the value of x will be 80 friends got it 20 percentage less the value of x is 20 percentage less than y so 20 percentage will be 20 so when you subtract 20 from 100 which is 80 so we are we are just saying value of, of y is equals to 100 then value of x will be 80 now our target to find what is y minus x divided by y so value of y will be 100 so 100 minus 80 divided by y 100 so first expression similarly second x divided by x minus y so x will be 80 divided by x minus y that is 80 minus 100 so now 100 minus 80 will be 20 so 20 divided by 100 so 1 by 5 so for the first expression we can say that answer is 1 by 5 second expression numerator is 80 and the denominator is 20 80 divided by 20 listen carefully 80 minus 100 will be minus 20 right so 0 0 4 times so finally answer is minus 4 so they have given two expression right so answer is 1 by 5 for the first term and comma minus 4 for the second term question number 8 if 8 percentage of x is equal to 4 percentage of y then 20 percentage of x is look at the options options are 20 percentage y 10 percentage of y interesting question and these are the questions can be easily solved without pen and paper we can directly say by looking at the question we can say answer is 10 percentage of y it is easy okay let me solve this question by a traditional method first of all and we can teach you the logic logically how to solve this question listen here 8 percentage of x is equal to 4 percentage of y we can cancel percentage and percentage similarly 1 4 are 4 2 4 are 8 so left hand side we have 2x right hand side we have y so x is equal to y by 2 right so finally we got an answer x is equal to y by 2 we are solving this question in a traditional method now substitute the value of x is equal to y by 2 here so 20 percentage of x that is y divided by 2 so once you cancel 2 and 20 so 10 percentage of y so finally we can say that 20 percentage of x is equals to 10 percentage of y so answer for this question is 10 percentage of y if you want to solve this question logically right without using pen and paper it is very simple right because to listen here uh, 4 percentage of y is equal to 8 percentage of x so we, once you cancel 4 and 8 it becomes 2 percentage of x is equal to 1 percentage of y 
right listen carefully after cancelling this 4 and 8 so 1 percentage of y is equal to 2 percentage of x our target to find what is 20 percentage if you want to convert this 2 into 20 you need to multiply this by 10 so if you multiply this by 10 left hand side becomes 20 percentage of x similarly multiply this by 10 it becomes 10 percentage of y so 20 percentage of x is equal to 10 percentage of y so answer for this question is 10 percentage of y so practice in both the way in case if they have given values in a mixed fraction only then you need to solve this question by a traditional method which we solved earlier right if it is easiest question we can directly solve this question without pen and paper but in case if they have given a value in a mixed fraction or 23.34 percentage like that no other way we need to solve the question by a traditional method so practice more and more question so that you too will get an idea question number nine if 60 percentage of a is equals to 30 percent percentage of b so b equal to 40 percentage of c and the third expression c equal to x percentage of a so uh, and our target to find what is the value of x right so by using this expression we need to find what is the value of x similar to question number one right if we need to find what is the value of x we need to eliminate letter a and letter c so what i'm going to do is i'm going to convert this letter c in terms of a so that we can cancel both the letter a and we can find what is the value of x and uh, at the top they have given two expression so let me do one thing right first we can concentrate on this expression number one we can cancel percentage and percentage similarly 130 30 32s are 60 so left hand side is 2a and the right hand side is b now 2a is equal to by using this expression number 2 we already know that b equal to 40 percentage of c so in in terms of b i'm going to substitute this 40 percentage so 40 by 100 into c so now you can cancel 0 and 0 cancel this on 2 table 2 and 5 again cancel this 2 and 2 so finally a equal to c by 5 so by using expression number 1 and expression number 2 we got an answer that is a equal to c by 5 now substitute here so c equal to x percentage is x by 100 instead of a substitute c by 5 so c by 5 we can cancel c and c so x is equal to 500 so finally we got an answer for question number 9 that is x is equal to 500 finally in this video we have solved a nine simple question and all are very easy and the basic question in the topic percentage so after solving all this nine question after understanding the concept move on to the next lesson that is lesson number three based upon what percentage more and what percentage less and don't forget to watch all my remaining lessons in the topic percentage so thank you so much for watching this video and if you really like it share this video to your friends so that your friends can also learn this bye